Wow, 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 after a long time, I'm going to play a five-minute game, and we're going to take it a bit easy today. We're going to take it a bit easy. It's just five minutes is for, you know, for a real relaxing time. For relaxing time. Make it Suntory time. Type it in the chat if you catch the movie reference. You'll have to be born in the 80s or 90s at latest to catch that movie reference. And, well, most of you should be, right? Or how old are you punks? Goddamn. Goddamn punks. Okay, what do we do here? He's looking a bit menacing. I am feeling a little bit of pressure, I have to admit. Black just doing his favorite little plan. And uh, it's putting me under a little bit of pressure. So I want to clarify the situation. Rather than get into all of his mucky little games. Playing in the mud. Chess one two three Sapo likes to play in the mud and I don't wanna I don't wanna get out in the mud. I just wanna play a clean game. Old school rules. Yeah. Oh yeah, well <laughs> if you're gonna just throw everything around then you know. <laughs> oh what is this? What is this? I come for the five minute game to find a nice relaxed game, and instead I get a guy just throwing away pieces like they're candy. What is that? So Black obviously only knows one thing. My name is Attack. Let's have a look at this guy's profile. I've lost a game to him before. Shit. That's pathetic. Pathetic. Must have been back in my youth. Yeah. Anyway, sometimes these chumps can get a win or two off of you because, you know, attacking players do tend to strike gold every now and then. That's true. But we've got it solid right now. We're not trying to do anything too fancy. We're just trying to play it, play it like Carlson. What is it? Coming after me with all these little tricks and traps and trying to be so cute and I don't like it. I'm gonna put a little bit of a wrench in his plans. Just a little one. Nothing major. Yeah. Okay. Now what do we do with this bishop? Do we just let him be there or should we kick him around? I think we let him stick around for a while. Bring this knight into the party. Okay, he got annoyed with my bishop. I I always get satisfaction when a piece annoys so much that they have to play a bad move to get rid of the piece. That wasn't really doing that much, in all honesty. But now we go here and he doesn't really have this. He doesn't really have this. I mean, rook check and then what? He can double up at best, but it's all just for show, isn't it? Let's just double check it. And he doubles up. Yeah, there's, there's no there there. Let's see if, if our renegade is going to go for the jugular. Now, since I took my time with the move, maybe he's had a bit of time to take a breath as well. So he's probably not going to do anything too rash, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Hmm. We just play a bit patiently. Let him do something a bit wild first. Okay. Let's see. Okay, maybe now we take it off. Don't let the pressure build forever. And we just come back nicely here. Safe king, make a safe home for yourself. Okay. Now, trying to get a bit menacing here. Trying to get a bit menacing. We, we don't mind swapping off one bishop, even if the bishop pair is a great thing. Right now with two pawns up, uh, more important to just simplify the game. He should try moves like this. That could make it interesting, right? Wouldn't it? The only problem is I can capture here and defend that pawn. So he probably sees that. Uh, he's trying to play like a goddamn GM. Trying to play like a goddamn GM and... Well... We're just gonna ignore the GM wannabe. We'll hold this steady with our rook. That's a critical move here because we know what his plan was. We know what his plan was. Now we keep him back in line. Now let's scuttle these rooks around a bit. Now let's come after the knight. And if he comes back here, uh, let's take it off. Take it off. Keep it simple. Win the game. Maybe didn't play this optimally, but uh, whatever. It's good enough. Oh, he should have taken that se second rank while he had the chance. Definitely should have taken that. Okay, we got to play fast. Always walk the two pawns with the rook. Walk them together. All right, I guess we teased him a little bit by playing so slowly. That wasn't my intention. My intention was to play a, a good, solid game. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's have a quick review. Uh, what do we get? 86%, not bad, not bad. Solid end gameplay, shitty opening. Let's have a look. Yeah, I would say my opening probably was shit. Like, look at this, a queen, queen up here would have been pretty damn good. What does he do then? Oh, well, knight out. Yeah, yeah, okay. We just played a rock solid type of opening, you know. Uh, this I knew was probably not accurate. I knew it was probably not accurate. But 
I just wanted to buckle down for a slow ride and, and, uh, well, he should have taken the slow ride instead of going all in. Like, like this was just playing like a bad sailor, you know, after that, it was just easy peasy game. Of course, we played patiently. And that's what you need. Watch all the little tricks and traps. Yeah. Well, here I, sh I would have come here right away and just tried to at least get something, you know, get something going. Not that it's going to help really, but. Alright. Thank you for watching. Very instructive the two pawn and rook walk walk technique. Okay, the rook defends the pawns and the pawns go forward. Catch you later.